Hey everyone, it is Callie with Bookshelf Banter and I am here with an amazing review today. I just finished Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss and I'm totally guessing on how um, how you say her name because if it's Mass and her book is Throne of Glass, that would just be too perfect, wouldn't it? Um, this is a book that just recently came out August and uh, I have heard some wonderful things about it and I, I don't know why I didn't move it to the front of my neural. I decided to change the name of my never ending list so that people will know that I'm talking about my never ending reading list because I have lots of lists and my neural as long as it is um, I, I do tend to um, let books skip in line. Um, if I've heard really good things about them or if I want to give one away, you know, that sort of thing. So um, to move on, I would love to tell you more about Throne of Glass, but before I do, I, I want to explain to you that um, if you like Rift by Andrea Creamer, which you should, if you like The Legacy of Trill by Heather Brewer, or if you like Graceling, by Kristen Cashore. You are going to love Throne of Grass by Sarah Glatt Grass. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Moss. I don't know which it is. So this is the thing. We're talking assassins. We're talking female kick butt assassins that can take down just about anyone uh, by flicking their wrist or giving you a dirty look. Um, sometimes they do involve um, taking down people with swords and um, really cool nunchuck things. Um, all of these books are amazing when it comes to reading about just some really awesome female characters. As far as this book is concerned, Throne of Glass, you have the main character, um, Selena, who I, you know, it's one of those things where you, you, either like or you don't like the main character right away and I liked her right away even though she was an assassin and killed people. I don't know what that says about me but it definitely um, says a lot about the book and the main character and the author for writing a character that I love so much. So Selena is an assassin who's been caught. Ooh, that's the twist. She's not on the run. She's not um, on a mission uh, but she's actually been caught and her whole life backstory is is amazing and I love how Sarah puts it in throughout the book so it's not like this clumpy backstory uh, or flashback um, this is the thing Selena has been caught but the the cool part is is that the prince thinks that maybe she's worth something maybe she's could be useful and um, and so yeah, Prince Dorian comes not to rescue her, but to actually take her back to the castle to make her work to stay alive. And um, and he didn't realize that she was going to be young and beautiful. Because what assassin is? Oh, wait a minute. All of them. So this is the thing. Selena then has to work to stay in the position that she's in um, and, and even get the position because she's fighting with other... Um, assassins and thieves for the position of being the king's champion. She just happens to be the person that Dorian thinks can do it. And um, and she's constantly being guarded by this guy named Kale. And um, he's actually the head guard. And um, the thing is, is that, you know, when you have a prince and, and a very strong guard guarding you, um, you can't help but just maybe fall in love with one or two guys. And it happens to assassins all the time. Hello, because if you're not killing someone, you're falling in love with someone. And Selena falls into that trap. I don't want to give too much away because I think I've probably given a lot away, but you think I have, but I haven't because she's competing for this position as the king's champion. She's falling in love and you're falling in love. Um, and I won't tell you who with, because there are too many choices. But you're also disgusted with some of the court and um, and you also kind of like some of them. Gosh, it's tough. And at the same time, there's this element of magic and otherworldliness and fae and just lovely things going on, but scary things at the same time. I don't think that I will 
ever encounter a Ritterac, but I definitely never want to, ever. Um, but um, that is unless I had someone like Selena to train me, because she's a kick butt assassin. I think I've taken too much of your time. I hope I haven't. I hope that I've convinced you that you need to read this book because it's amazing. It's five books on my bookshelf. Like, amazing. And I really hope that someday that I can meet Sarah J. Moss and tell her how amazing this book is. And maybe even get her to sign it or something. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I hope that you'll come back and watch another review, even though this one was a little bit lengthy. Normally they're not this long. Five minutes off. It's because I love this book so much and I wanted to talk about it so much and I don't know anyone else that's read it that's like a friend that lives close by that I can talk to them about it so I'm talking to you about it. So go get it and then we can like message each other and Facebook each other and tweet with each other about how good Throne of Glass is by Sarah J. Moss. I hope that you'll go get it. If you love assassins, you're going to love this book. Talk to you later.